Oh wow, not, no, I'm not going like that because I'm tired from the run. Today's just about running easy, but a snake in the middle of the path basking in the sun and it like hissed at me and then skirted off like that and oh, it made me jump. But maybe that's what I did to it as well. It was like, hey, oh my gosh. Now he's making, or she is making a YouTube video saying, oh, there's one of these massive things that has two legs and yeah anyway okay <laughs> out on a run yeah. Mixing it up a little bit today and what I'm doing is running at 3 p.m. Usually I always like to run in the morning. It's just nice to get it done in the morning and like then you feel like you've achieved what you wanted first thing and then anything else is a bonus. But today for some reason 3 p.m. being out already in the morning walking in Helsinki city center buying some camera stuff kitchen well not into the bank account lost money Although I enjoy it, so I'm happy to spend that money investing in things that I enjoy. And I guess that's the thing as well. In the morning, I like to invest my time into the things that, you know, I'm passionate about or what's going to benefit me as in my physical kind of self and my own mental state. But yeah, today, a little bit different. I guess that's good. Having a little bit of difference in your life sometimes, not always eating pizza, but maybe sometimes having pasta as well. Okay, let's just stop the run for a second. I have to come here because I've come to run in the forest and it is just so beautiful. I had to share this view with you. Just absolutely incredible. All this forest and it's just on my doorstep and I run past this pretty much every other day. I'm, you know, mixing up the roots a little bit, keep the mind sane a little bit. And it's just amazing like to see all of this nature and not the only thing is like it looks so different from the different seasons here in Finland so you get the real fall you know winter summer spring and autumn or fall because leaves fall from the trees in the US as you say it but yeah it's just so good I'm gonna try and hike over to this tree Right, enough playing, should we continue running? Seven kilometers, 35 minutes, just really nice to be out there, just get the legs running. And yeah, I had sauna after it, so it was really nice. As runners and people, I think in general, you know, people who like get into any hobby and everything, they want to improve at something that they do. And maybe that's the reason why you're watching YouTube about runners and stuff. Maybe it's just to relax, but everybody, I think is quite a healthy habit to want to improve, to, uh, increase for your own ability or to strive to be I don't know an athlete whatever it is improving your results but of course there's always like a personal reason and I think with running there is like obviously a lot of ways to improve and I think there's like one fundamental that you know a lot of professionals runners or like successful runners uh, they have something that they do but maybe they don't tell so much to people. It's not a secret, it's something that we all kind of nurture in a way sometimes with things, but uh, I think that what this one thing, like really pro runners really excel at doing, and as a result, you know, 
their performance is better. No, it's not a secret formula for a drink solution with a maltodextrin to glucose certain levels or something, or a specific type of oat from Colombia that is going to make you better on race day. Obviously, being hydrated and fueling well does help all those minimal little things. There is no like little shortcut to success, basically. I've noticed this myself with my running. My running has like exponentially improved when I've taken this one single little thing. And yeah, I, I, would, I would like to say that a lot of it is down to that. You've heard me say it lots before in my videos. And the one thing that the professional runners aren't telling you is that when they go out to run, they're not always like 100% motivated or pumped to get out there. Everybody who is running, no matter what level, they do have those days when they're looking at the door and they're thinking, oh God, I can't be bothered to turn the handle and get out there and put the work in. I know for many people out there who are starting off running, that consistency can be one of the hardest things to keep going to you know day in day out or to gradually you know increase that mileage the different days going out there it can be a real hard grind so don't be fooled when you look at these people who are doing high mileage who are running every single day that they are 100% in it of course i have to flip that a bit of course they are invested because they are going out and doing it every single day they are being consistent but they do have those thoughts in their minds where they would rather lie down on the sofa. But everybody has to have some, I guess, internal motivation. And yeah, it's good to have external motivation as well by watching YouTube videos. Maybe you're watching this video to give you a little bit of inspiration or motivation to go and run, that's great. And I do sometimes as well. But within yourself, if you want something, then I think you're willing to you know, get out of the door, go and put that hard work in. If your body's feeling a little bit lethargic or if it's dark and raining outside or you've, you know, just got that fatigue that is just constantly there. And so getting out of the door, even when you are like your mind, I think it's when your mind is fighting. Obviously you have an injury or something like that. It is really important to rest and recover it's a little bit different when it's your mind who's just trying to like reserve the energy. Basically what is happening here is the mind is like controlling, it's got like a you know check all over the whole body and it's trying to reserve energy and make it lazy so that it can you know recover and relax and everything. But you will know just as much as me that like today seven kilometers easy for me it's not a stress to the body and actually that actually helped me recover from the previous day's runs or the you know the workouts the on the Wednesday before where I did like a track session the seven kilometer easy endurance zone one for me was the perfect type of thing to go out and do only for the body but for the mind as well I felt like great when I went out there after I had finished so sometimes you should ask yourself why are you running what do you want out of this running and when you find that reason, then you will have that reason to get out of the door, that motivation. And like all those pro runners or the people who are taking running seriously, that they understand why they are running. So the next time that you compare yourself to somebody on Strava and you see that they've got this some mega run streak going on or they do really amazing mileage or something like that, don't be fooled, you're in the same boat as them they are just keeping that consistency up and you have got it in you as well. So for my running tomorrow to finish off the week, I have a long run coming, 22 to 27 kilometers, somewhere around there. I've got some new running shoes here. New running shoes is always really exciting to have. Maybe a way to keep you motivated, but that's an expensive way. And if you wanna have a quick little look. Oh yeah, look at them, just beautiful. So trail running shoe which obviously hints at a little bit of something which I'm coming up doing. And not only that, but we have these here. Lecky, probably know them. I'll leave them in there. I'll bring them in the next video, but some new trail running poles. I'm motivated to run, getting out on the trails, and also bring some content 
here to YouTube that is valuable to everybody. Now, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, hit the like button. If you've got any comments or questions, please leave them down below. I'm more than happy to get back to you. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and we'll see you in the next video.